Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in last video we got our uh, height trace setup. So if you see uh, now in the player uh, in the begin play itself you are able to see the trace. Uh, before we proceed further we need to uh, move this forward trace a bit higher. So we will correct that go to forward trace. Now add a vector here. and uh, add it to uh, both of this start and end start and uh, this height offset vector uh, we will set it on the event graph so we will increase it by 70 this should be fine but if you if you want it to be even higher you can adjust this value okay so this is fine okay now we can see this it's tracing properly now uh, we don't want this uh, player character to trace everywhere we will set it to trace only when the character is jumping for that we will copy the jump uh, character code from uh, our base character jump so this is the logic for jump copy this fully copy this fully and come to your player character uh, if you want you can create a new graph and paste but uh, I'll, I'll put it here itself and uh, disconnect it from the base character so we don't want it here Okay. Now on the player character we will uh, make some changes so that uh, uh, it traces when, uh, uh, when, when it is jumping. Uh, we, we actually don't need any changes here but uh, let's keep the jump action here. We will set it here better. Player ref is falling. So this will uh, uh, let us know if the character is falling or Or movement movement state is equal to uh, climb. Set it climb here and do a branch. Okay, connect this here. Now, if you see, the trace will be there only if the character jumps. We only need it here because since we have put this in even take, uh, we don't want this to be fired uh, every time, uh, every uh, at, at every tick even. So while walking, we don't need that. So only when it is jumping, we need. So this should uh, help it. So uh, we have the height trace here, and we have the return value also. Do a branch. And if it is true, we will set the player's moment state to climb. And uh, once once everything is fine then we have to go to the next state which is grab ledge okay. and one more thing on the height trace 
here we have to set the return node to false okay so this should be fine now if we go and jump it goes to climb state since we don't have the uh, hanging logic setup it, it is moving further so we will set up the hanging logic okay so grab ledge we will do it as a custom event because we might require some uh, delay and delay and everything so i'll create a separate graph open it on it create a custom event which is uh, grab ledge create a variable here grabbing uh, set this as boolean get and check so branch branch so if it is not grabbing uh, we have to uh, proceed with the logic so do once Set the grabbing variable to, and we have to set the movement act movement uh, player's movement mode to flying. Okay. Movement mode to flying. and we will move the player component uh, uh, to the uh, ledge location for that we need to uh, we will create a separate uh, custom event for that also because we, we will be moving the player component uh, various times Within the within the graph, so better I uh, will make that as a uh, separate uh, event so that we can call the same event every time we want instead of putting the logic uh, again and again. So here uh, give a normal offset and height offset. So this offset value it will help us to you know move uh, the character a bit further or backward uh, whenever we require. And capsule components. And for the location where we want to move, uh, it will be decided from our uh, uh, variables which we created for ledge. Ledge normal. Multiply it with uh, normal uh, normal offset. And this we will add it to the ledge location. Ledge location. And the height we have to uh, get it from the ledge height. Get the ledge height, and we just only uh, need z from here. Okay, this normal offset, uh, uh, this has to be float both. Okay, float, float is fine. So, add this here. Mm. 
okay this is fine now we will make a vector out of it make vector so x and y will be from here and the z will be from the face so this will be our uh, target location and for uh, the rotation take the ledge normal into minus 1 and make rotation from x vector split this make rotator So x and z comes from this and the y will uh, come from uh, the player's uh, y because if we take y from here there are chances that the player character uh, tilts so we will uh, maintain the same orientation for the player so we will take uh, the y uh, from here okay so connect this to the related rotation and set the uh, is in is out uh, over time point one okay so this should be fine we will use this now come back to our uh, grab ledge here call that move to component move player component to and here uh, we will uh, uh, set the value scale so normal offset we will get it as 25 and height offset we will get it as minus 120 so this values work uh, good for me uh, if this if this doesn't work good for you you can play around with this variable uh, i mean the values to decide the right one for you then we have to uh, stop the moment Then do a sequence and add a slight delay and uh, the class state set the climb state to uh, hanging. hanging and uh, here uh, again after the delay. set grabbing to uh, false okay the reason uh, why we are doing it here is this is based on uh, the animation which we will be using so after the animation completes the grabbing state to be false and uh, soon after it starts grabbing uh, the our hanging states should uh, start trigger so that uh, we will have the logic to uh, you know align the player character along with the ledge here first we change that to the vector state okay now let's see what happens same mistake i do every time <laughs> so finding component event graph grab ledge okay so now it is uh, going to come in 
acting weird but one good thing is it's moving to the height which we want where the uh, ledge is okay so that's a good thing but as the reason why it is moving is we have added some logic in the uh, player character so here this needs some manipulation so that uh, the player the character stops uh, exactly once it's it, it goes to that point so those things we will see it in the next video uh, we will close it for now thanks for watching